What's going on everybody? Mondo Mojo here of LDT. Today I wanted to go through my month of September comic books and log them into my CLZ app. So today, I thought like last time we would start with the big previews book. Um, like I was saying, the previews are just um, kind of going over all that Diamond has. Statues, collectibles, and um, all the comic books that are coming out for the next month or so. Just kind of previews and goes over, you know, what's going on. Tells you a little little bio and different things. These are always cool. Uh, the only things, the thing about this is they're super thick and they all take up a lot of space but they're pretty cool because they have that like nice binding and it's cool. Satisfying seeing them all stacked up, lined up together. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go over all my books and then at the end I'll log them all into the CLZ app and show you kind of how that works. Other big thing that I like to get are these True Believers. True Believers are these reprints of these key issue books and stories that Marvel puts out. Depends on what's going on at the time. If there's like a character they want to kind of tell you backstory from or you know kind of just kind of go over where they came from. They're only a buck and they're super cool. It's um, one of my main pickups, you know, even if it's not something I'm really super into. I just like having them. I think they're a pretty good buy. I mean, for a buck, can't go wrong. But those are super cool. And then we have Wolverine. This was a something I didn't, I don't really pick up on any kind of Wolverine books, but uh, I thought this one was a cool issue. For one, it was, I saw that it was going for $20 also, and um, I believe this is like a Sam Keith homage cover, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Wolverine number five, written by Benjamin Percy and illustrated by Victor Van Bonnevik. Van Bonnevik? <laughs> now we have the Draken New Dawn. Number two, and then number one, second prints. We'll start with number one, second print. That one's super cool. You can see her, her armor. Then we got numero dos. And I love these covers. I'm guessing that they put these out for every issue. Little tidbit that I found out this week. I'm a pretty big stiffler about, you know, Making sure, you know, there's no creases or any kind of, like, printing errors. The comic shop that I went to, or I go to, gives you boards and bags. And I noticed this week that there was little bits of, kind of see it on camera, these little bits of, I don't know, they, it almost feels like sand or something in there. You could feel it. And I thought they were scratches on the, on the spining. But I was told that um, the way that they make these books, they're like chrome plated somehow or they do something with it and for them to ship them they have to like like coat them in some kind of like I guess these like dust stuff that kind of helps them and prevents them from like rubbing against each other um so it, it leaves like this little coating on here and I was like oh, I don't want those ones they're kind of they're, they're scratched up and he was showing me like no that's that's what they do so they don't you know they don't damage the spine now we have ice cream man this was a book that I haven't really been into, I haven't been picking them up. I think they're about 20 issues in right now. But this was like a one-shot type thing, the quarantine comic special here. Um, been hearing nothing but good things about Ice Cream Man, so I felt like I, I missed out on this book and I wanted to kind of pick it up. Ice Cream Man, written by Maxwell Prince and illustrated by Martin Marazzo. Kind of an old book here. Gwenpool Strikes Back. Gwen is my girl, man. I 
pick up pretty much everything Gwen. Um, but this is a second print of number one. I thought it was a pretty cool cover. Found it, so had to pick up on that. Gwenpool, written by Leo Williamson and illustrated by David Balden. Super cool, super cool. Like that book. Now, now we get into some good shh. These are some of my more favorite books right now. Let's let's put something cool up right here for a little change of pace. So we have we have Justice League Death Metal tie-in A and B. That's such a great cover. Look at that. Justice League by Joshua Williamson and illustrated by Zermonico. I believe that's how you say it. We got a couple more death metal tie-ins. Speed Metal. Speed Metal by Joshua Williamson and illustrated by Eddie Barrows. Then another death metal tie-in, Trinity Crisis. Look at that illustration. I just love the art. Trinity Crisis by Scott Snyder and illustrated by Francis Manipal. Now, this was a book that came out last year and there was supposed to be uh, five issues, but um, Sam Keith ended up only doing three. I'm not sure exactly what happened with that, this set. But this is the compendium issue where I guess it has the last, well, the, the only three books that were in this series. And um, yeah, Sam Keith, man. Sam Keith is one of my favorite illustrators and writers. Now we have another big Kate's book. He's all over the place. He's got about, what, five different books he's writing right now? Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know how he does it, man. Wraith by Donny Cates, uh, illustrated by Villanova. Super, super cool. Some more Donny Cates. Venom. Venom number 28. Venom number 28. Venom by Donny Cates and illustrated by Juan Gideon. And the last Donny Cates of the day, we have Thor number seven. Thor by Donny Cates and illustrated by Aaron Cooter. And now, last but not least, Spawn by Todd McFarlane, the Todd father. This is a second print of 309. It just came out like last month and it's already in its second printing. I saw this one was going for like 20 bucks also. I'm glad I didn't have to pay $20 for it, but such a great cover. Such a great cover. So yeah, that's all my books for the month. Let's do some scanning. I'm going to kind of go over maybe one or two of the books and show you how the CLZ app works. We've got this little CLZ app here. And I like to go by barcode, but you can also put it by series. And you can type in manually, you know, whatever series it is. But if you go by barcode, it's a lot faster and easier to kind of scan. Kind of scan it in there. And as you can see, it comes up here. And click on it there it is right there so add to collection boom boom we'll do another one here so we scan it There's that one there. Add that one. And boom. So on and so forth, basically. Just kind of go through and add them in. Add that to story. 
How about we go over to this Ed by Series? Um, if you go in here, these are all the Venoms that I have so far. And let's say I wanted to see which ones I was missing. Uh, I'll go over here to the little plus sign. So this is the whole series so far. All the ones that are blue are the ones that I have. Look at all that. Oh my gosh, they get so ridiculous with those variant covers. My lord, look at those. Um, so yeah, the ones in black are the ones I don't have. The ones in blue are covers I do have. Look at how many covers. God, they're silly. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's kind of how it works. And let's say, you know, I got another one. You kind of just, I don't have it, but that's what you would do. You would add it in there right there. But like I said, I, I usually like doing it by barcode. It's a lot faster, but that's pretty cool too. If you need to kind of go through and just, um, you know, see what's missing from your collection. But yeah, let's do a little time lapse and get them scanned into the app. That's a lot of books. So now, now I got them all scanned in. Uh, some of these are blue because I already had them scanned. So I'll just go ahead and add to collection and see what happens. Alright, so you got this little notification. It's like, oh, you already have this scanned in. Do you want to put it in anyways? Sometimes I'll put it in um, a double because I might have two issues. But in this case, I don't. So I'll just say no all the way through. Just say no. Boom! Boom city! So yeah, that's the CLZ app. As you can see here, these are all the titles that I have. If you were to click on one, it'll show you all the books I have for that title. Then you can click on a book and it'll go ahead and kind of bring up everything. The barcode, the date it came out, um, the plot, characters in the story, uh, the creators, you know, all the details and stuff about the book, um, price. You know, the date, all that good stuff. You can even put it in here, you know, if you read it or not. Um, but it, this is such a great app. If you don't have the CLZ app, you're a comic collector. I don't know how you do it. Seriously. It's only $14.99. One time or one time pay. And it just stores everything for you. Without that, I, I wouldn't know what I have. Uh, you could also go in here and say, I'm looking for any books that have Venom in it. So, you type in Venom. And these are all the books that I have that involve Venom. Or in some way have Venom in it. These should be just the Venom series, whatever Venom you know, these are all the true believers. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. You can even do something like um, if you're looking for uh, an artist. Let's say Todd McFarlane. And these will be all the Todd McFarlane books that I have. Pretty cool, pretty cool get yourself the CLZ app. I think they do other stuff too. I'm not 
mistaken they do maybe cards and other collectible type stuff too but for my use comic books it's a lifesaver lifesaver uh, another big thing that I like to do is I keep all my receipts for all my my comic books especially I, I like keeping these ones but most comic shops will have like a, a system similar to this if you can kind of see right there it'll kind of tell you what book it is and how much you paid for it what number it was like you know obviously up here it'll say the date and everything it's just they're super cool I probably have somewhere around 95% of all my receipts just kind of put them in a little box and put them away I liked having those all right all right I believe we are done for the day I got some Pokemon cards here some more Rebel Clash I have some opened a couple of packs couple of packs um, another little booster pack here go ahead and nice little promo card there and then code card cool little coin oh shiny coin put those over there's got another promo card fuck it now we got three packs Rebel Clash. All the boys. We got the Fire Boy, the Water Boy, and the Grass Boy. Let's see if we got any luck today. Like I would say, what I was saying last time, I like to try to keep these packs intact without ripping them up too much. It's kind of hard to do it on camera because of the angle, but didn't do it too bad that time. But I like to try to keep them where it just opens on the top you just slide them out like that and then you slide off the code fucking throw that bitch uh, and then we do the code trick I mean the code uh, the card trick one two three four to the back and then we guess energy we'll say lightning energy oh psychic Focus. Focus. Nugget. Donald Trump. Wingo. Phantom. Bronze or Toxel. Applin. Oh, are there two different Applins? No, that's weird. And oh, I think I see something. Oh, joy. What is it? Ready? One, two, three. Oh! Alright, Malamar V Max card. Wow, man, what a pretty card. Man, they have all these like. And if you can see, all that's textured. You see all those little lines and stuff? If you, I don't want to run my finger across it, but if you run, you can kind of see it's all textured in there. Super cool cards. That's probably the. Well, I, that is the best card that I've pulled from um, Rebel Clash so far. Go ahead and put that in the sleeve real quick. Oh, fuck it up, because I'm a ape. And I always put them in upside down like that, so when you slide them in your, your book, the top is sealed off from anything. Two more packs. Man, I'm just ripping them up, ripping them up. We slide off the code. And then we do the energy code card or code or energy card trick. Uh, guess the energy, I will say water, grass. No luck on the guess the energies. Tranquil, Medicham, little trolley, Applin, another Applin, Antenna, Magikarp, 
Metatite, Stunky, Reverse, Trainer card, Tool Scrapper, and our rare is. Oh, double hit, baby! Copra Jaw. Copra Jaw? Copra Jaw? V? Not as nice, but I will definitely take that. Another pretty cool little card. We are get lucky today, huh? Go ahead and put that in a sleeve too, baby. Our two pulls so far. And now we have one more pack, Fire Boy. Let's see if the bunny can do it for us. Come on, fire. Ooh, look at that. That's the best one I've done so far. That's exactly how I like to do them. Um, pull them out. I'll give the code. One, two, three, four to the back. And then we guess the energy. I will say psychic. Baby, real nice. All right, last pack magic. Can we do it? Let's see. Bronzo, Metapod, Roly Coley, Applin. Got Applin in every single set. Add the card. All right. Ooh, look at that. Low Ray. And our last card. Can we do it? Can we have three packs? Magics? Let's see. Oh, no. Butterfree. It's all right. We got two great cards today. Some of these reverse cards are actually pretty decent, too. Um, I'll have to look at those and see if they don't catch a little bit of, little bit of change. But... Obviously, that's the card of the day. Super pretty. Come back in another week or so, and uh, shoot, I don't even know what I'll be doing. It's kind of bi-weekly here. We'll figure it out, though. Hey, everybody. So, I thought it'd be cool if I can get my subscribers up to 50, I will do an auction for a tattoo up to $50. So tell your friends, uh, share this video, and let's get those subscribers up. Anybody that is subscribed will be put into a drawing and randomly chosen for a free tattoo. Thank you guys for joining me, and remember to always live dreams today.